Hey there, dear Dead by Daylight community and welcome to my TED talk. Now, today I want to do something a little bit different than just the gameplay videos or, you know, just killer videos. I wanted to, to bring to attention one of my absolute favorite perks that I think is fairly underrated in Dead by Daylight at the moment. Um, it's a little bit reminiscent of Oz's great um, underrated perk video things and he did an underrated perk video to this specific perk before it actually received the buff. Thank you, Church Bells. Um, and that perk is obviously... I have it right here in my hand, by the way. As you can see, by the way, right here. My absolute favorite perk, you can also see it in the video description, obviously, is... Detective's Hunch. If you've never seen it, then there's something wrong with you. Look at... Look, just... Look at this fella. Look at this fella. He's cute. He's fucking, he's fucking adorable. Some adorable little fellow. So, Detective's Hunch. What does Detective's Hunch do? Pretty damn easy to explain. Unlocks potential in one's aura reading ability. When a generator is completed, the aura of generators, chests, and totems within 64 meters are revealed to you for 10 seconds. If you are holding a map that can track objectives, generators, chests, and totems revealed by Detective's Hunch, are added to the map. Now before, when Oz did his video, that perk was garbage for one particular reason that it, and that is that it was that it only triggered if you com completed a generator. Now it's every time a generator is completed and usually you all, I, I would say in every match, uh, there is at least two generators being done. So two instances in which this perk actually pops. Um, I thought actually it was 5 seconds, but apparently the game says it's 10 seconds, so it's even better now. Um, so yeah, basically what it does is, um, every time a generator is completed, as it says, you see in, in an aura of 64 meters around you, which is pretty much almost the entire map for like small maps like Game and... Um, what's the other one? Larry's. You basically see this, uh, if you are in the center of the map, you basically see every spawn of every generator, of every totem, and of every chest around you. Usually what you want to use this perk for is to get rid of totems. Now, nowadays I would say De Detective Sun's Hunch is a pretty good pickup for the meta, because in the current meta, usually, depends on where you reside, where your survivor rank is, there is a good chance that the, that the, that the killer is running a hex totem, whether that be Devour Hope or whether that be for the endgame Noad, because Noad, on certain killers I would say it's mandatory, like if you face a Wraith, he kind of needs that, so you eliminate uh, know it before it basically becomes a problem. Um, so what you want to do with this is obviously you want to, if uh, if you know if you are in uh, Discord with your teammates and there is a gen about to pop, then what you want to do with Detective Sunch is you just basically run sorta in, into the center of the map so you can get a good glimpse around every totem you just memorize where the totems are and then you just go on a hunt to cleanse those totems now this perk in itself is pretty good if you just play with this but if you build around it obviously it becomes even stronger so what are good perks to pair this up with obviously the thing because I use the Texas hunch to just um, search for totems and then to just cleanse them so Obviously, the first thing that comes to mind is pair it up with Inner Strength. Because Inner Strength is really damn good with Detective Sunch. What does Inner Strength do? It's a Nancy Wheeler perk, and uh, it does the following. Each time you complete a Totem Cleanse action, Inner Strength activates. If you are already affected by the broken status effect, Inner Strength does not activate, obviously. While Inner Strength, strength is active, hiding inside a locker for 8 seconds while injured, automatically heals you from injured to healthy. Inner strength becomes that uh, deactivated as soon as it has successfully triggered. What it does not do, by the way, let's say um, you are at the beginning of the match, generator is being re uh, is being completed, you see two totems. You cleanse one totem, inner strength is active. However, it is not like if you, if it is active and then you cleanse another totem, and then you get hit, you go inside a locker, you heal, inner strength, is not active because you cleansed another totem. It is only active for once. 
So that means if it is active and you cleanse a totem while inner strength is still active, it doesn't add, it, it, it doesn't stack. Or it doesn't gain tokens. You only get one. So you know you little bit need a little bit. But still, you know, just cleansing totems right off the bat, if you see them two or three right off the bat, is obviously, you know, beneficial. Um, also, what inner strength helps you with is you just hide inside a locker for eight seconds. That can happen, for instance, if the killer downs someone, you think he has uh, barbecue and chili, he picks them up right away, you think you are out, you're in, you would get detected by um, barbecue and chili. You just go inside a locker anyway, so you hide your aura from him. You go in there for eight seconds. I think you need to be in that for like five, five to six seconds for. Um, for, uh, that is, I think, the, the the range for barbecue and chili, or the duration for barbecue and chili, in which you can track your aura, five to six seconds. So you just hide in there for like three additional seconds, and you know, there's no time being wasted. The guy that would have uh, healed you can instead go to another generator or prepare to unhook, and you are just, you know, healed up, which is pretty damn good. Next one that you can, or another perk that you can pair this up with if you don't want to go for totems, would be... Uh, I think it's a green perk. Yep, Plunderer's Instinct. Because um, this obviously tracks, uh, or Detective Sanch also um, tracks uh, chests. So you don't necessarily need it for Plunderer's Instinct, because Plunderer's Instinct does basically the same thing. However, Detective Sanch has a range of 64 meters. This one, quote unquote, only on level 3 Plunderer's, has a range of only 32. A Nux potential in one's aura reading ability, the auras of unopened chests and items in the environment are revealed to you. When standing within a 32 meter range grants a considerably better chance at finding an item of higher rarity from chests. It's a little bit of a stretch because you know you, you see the aura when you are in the general vicinity anyways, but you might want to pair it up with Plunderer's Instinct just, you know, for the loads basically. Another perk you can pair Detective Sunch up with would be... That should be a purple one. Uh, yeah, that was open-handed, which is a, which is a ace. By the way, um, Plunderer's Instinct—I forgot to mention this—is a rare perk. Every every survivor has this from the get-go. And Detective Sunch, totally forgot to mention that, is a detective tap perk. And open-handed is a very rare Ace Visconti perk. What open-handed does, which is probably also um, a perk you've never heard before, is strengthens the potential of you and your team's aura reading abilities, increases aura reading ranges by 8 meters, which basically buffs Detective Sunch from 64 meters to 72 meters of um, aura reading of generators, of chests, and obviously of totems. Um, another thing, by the way, that I forgot to mention is that if you see a totem with Detective Sunch, it doesn't tell you if it is a hex totem or if it, if it is a dull totem. You just see the totem, but you don't know if, it, if it's a hex totem or not. Uh, but yeah, obviously, um, open-handed, you can pair that up also. If you run Detective Sunch with Bond, that also helps, because it also then it increases the range of the aura reading from Bond, right off the bat. So you get one perk, open-handed, which buffs Detective Sunch and Bond. Pretty good. Another perk you can pair up uh, with would be a small game, which is another rare perk that every survivor has from the get-go. So what does small game do? You have the undeniable capability to sense danger. Get an auditory warning when looking in the direction of killer traps and totems in a 45 degree cone within a range of 12 meters. Small game has a cooldown of 10 seconds each time it activates, only works on traps that are set by killers. Uh, so this one basically pops when you see hack traps, when you see, or when you look at um, trapper traps. That also works, by the way, if it is like around the corner. So it's still, you still get the auditory warning for that. But also when you see a totem, doesn't, uh, uh, and it always pops, it always, always makes the same noise, whether you look at a dull totem or whether you look at a hex totem. Why you would pair up small game with Detective Sunch is obviously, you know, you get the aura reading for basically everything for 10 seconds. So it also, it also works on a chase, by the way, which is pretty damn cool. Um, you get that thing for 10 seconds, but if you, if, you are, if you are like me and you have the memory of a goldfish, you might really forget really quickly where those totems were that you just saw for 10 seconds. And small game can basically help you out because you know you know the general vicinity in which that totem was. But, um, and then you go into that vicinity, but you don't find it. And then, you know, small game can help you out, but that's a little bit of a stretch. You don't really need it. You only basically need Detective Sunch because, you know, 
if you see it for 10 seconds and you cleanse one totem and then you look in the in the direction where the other one is, you should know where they are. However, if you happen to have uh, difficulties uh, by remembering where those totems were because you only see them for 10 seconds, then there are items that can actually help you out. So as for items, there is one item that can greatly help you out if you can't remember uh, where the totems are that you just saw, and that would be the rainbow map. What does the rainbow map, rainbow map Jesus, do without any kind of add-ons? The following. Holding and channeling the map unlocks a great potential in one's aura breeding ability, which slowly burns the map. Burns up the map. Object with auras... Objects with auras, which you have already encountered, are revealed to you for as long as the map has charges left. 20 seconds of use. Start with three objects automatically tracked. Unlocks the ability to track objectives with an 8 meter range. Unlocks the track... Unlocks the ability to track black locks with within a, an 8 meter range. Unlocks the, the ability to track the killer's belongings within an 8 meter ra range, which is basically... Um, which are basically hooks and unlocks the ability to track exit gates within an 8 meter range which by the way you can also buff right away with open-handed because open-handed also applies to that uh, not only applies to perks that you and your other survivor friends always al also have but also to items and thus also to the aura reading of the map uh, of the rainbow map that is so what you want to pair this up with for the rainbow map you have two add-ons uh rainbow map by the way is an ultra rare item so it doesn't pop up as often in the blood web however but there are two add-ons that you should consider putting onto the map first one would be the unusual stamp moderately increases the range of the map tracking ability stacks and the odd stamp unusual stamp obviously would be the would it would be an uncommon map add-on and the green and the odd stamp would be a rare map add-on a green one which means this one shows up more rare or less often less frequently on the blob web as the unusual stamp because this one considerably increases the range of the map tracking ability so these two basically buff up the um the aura reading of the map and uh so this one increases it this one like like, like this one increases it just a little bit this one increases it a bit further and this one also buffs it so you know open-handed with these two with these two add-ons and with the map is pretty good so what you want to do by the way uh detective sanj you get the aura reading uh, as soon as you get the aura reading another perk that i forgot by the way that you should put on is because you know it's also in the meta so that's pretty good is sprint burst what does sprint burst do uh when start when you start running when starting to run Break into a sprint at 150% of your normal running speed for a maximum of 3 seconds. Causes the exhausted status effect for 40 seconds. Sprint burst cannot be used while exhausted. You do not recover from the exhausted effect status effect while running. Uh, so, why do you want to do this? So, either you or one of your friends uh, tells you, you know, I'm about to finish a gen. What you do is, you know that the detective's hunch is going to proc. You run into the middle of the map. You activate the rainbow map with these two add-ons, maybe even with open-handed, not necessarily, you know, you can also swap in whatever you want. Um, you run into the middle of the map, Detective Sanj procs, you get these two add-ons that increase the reading of the map. You know, as soon as it activates, just pop your map. And then, with Sprint Burst, helps you, basically helps you to just get to the center of the map a little bit quicker. You just run around a little bit in this in the center of the map so you track everything with the rainbow map just keep just hold the rainbow map map up for like three to four seconds because you know it always if you use these two add-ons you only have 20 seconds of value out of the rainbow map and uh, basically what it does then everything that detective's hunch see uh, is um Everything you see with Detective Sanj will be added to the rainbow map. So whenever you activate the rainbow map, you also see where those totems, where those generators and where those chests were that you saw due to Detective Sanj. What you can also do, by the way, I totally forgot. Um, yeah, what you can also do is you add up the odd stamp with the crystal bead. What the crystal bead does is pretty cool. Every survivor sees the aura generated by the map when the owner activates it. Meaning, if you you know got everything covered with the tech of Sunch and everything is stored on the map, um, you just let your teammates in Discord know, hey, I'm about to pop the rainbow map. Just make make sure to look out for any totems, any chests that you want that you may want to do. 
You pop the rainbow map, everyone sees everything that you unlocked with Detective Sunch with the map, and everyone can go either to a gen, to a, to a chest if they need an item, to a totem, whatever the case may be. Um, my, uh, if you want to know my usual setup for Detective Sun, however, I don't use the rainbow map. You can add it, you know, it's pretty valuable. But usually what I run when I when I play with Detective Sanj, and I'm gonna upload quite a few games um, in the common future because, you know, I just love running with this because there are so many, so many games where the killer... I think I have two videos already, um, already uh, covered or, or already in the, in the pipeline that I want to use where... I think it was two. It was two games where I used Detective Sanj. We cleared every totem on the map, and after we escaped, we just saw you know both of those killers actually ran no at, and that could have been really a big problem for us in the end game, obviously. And so we just eliminate like one thing. However, of course, there is a problem if the killer runs haunted grounds, but you know, that's always that that. You, that's just the risk you have you have to take or also that one from the death slinger that I can't remember which one that is when you break like a dull totem every he sees like the aura of everyone shit happens um but yeah usually what I run with detective Sanchez is obviously inner strength this is just a no-brainer you can also by the way if you run inner strength and you really want to be a pain in the ass you can also run head-on uh, which is like the ultimate meme thing, I think, because while standing in a locker for three seconds, head-on activates while head-on is activated. Perform a rush action to leave the locker, to leave a locker to use head-on. If the killer is standing within head-on's effective range, the killer is stunned for three seconds, and then you get exhausted for 40 seconds. So basically, if you run this, this is your exhaust perk, so you can't use it with sprint burst because you know sprint burst would be deactivated if you use head-on. Uh, but basically, you know, the thing is, if you go into a locker with inner strength and you can just head on a killer if you see, okay, uh, because you have to stand in the locker for 8 seconds and the killer might have seen you, then you can just, you know, use head on with this. Um, but usually what I do is I don't run head on, but I do run, obviously, sprint burst and, you know, that's also, that, that's always my insurance, po insurance policy, no matter what build I play. I always play with D Strike because D Strike is just a safe pick every time. It helps me in almost every game that I play. And this usually is my build when I play with Detective Sanch. I play with Detective Sanch, obviously, inner strength. So, you know, I get also value out of clearing totems because that's what I use Detective Sanch for. Sprint Burst to just, you know, great exhaustion perk. Um, you can run that hard. I used that in one game and then I failed. And then I was like, nope, never gonna play with this <laughs> shitty perk again because dedicated servers. And of course, D Strike, you know, just in, as insurance policy. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, de decisive Strike. Detective Sanch, definitely, in my opinion, an underrated perk. Um, as I said, you can just use Detective Sanch and, you know, go for like. Um, it works great on its own. You can use your own perk build that you usually run with like adrenaline or if you want to go for a more ninja appearance, uh, you can also go with your sneak things with. Um, Iron Will with Borrow Time, whatever the case may be, but obviously if you play around it a little bit and see, okay, this one actually benefits off of it and I need to adjust my playstyle a little bit, then it shines even more than it does, than, uh, than, than it already does, basically. Um, so yeah, if it is in the shrine anytime soon, definitely make sure to pick this up and give this perk a go because it is really that damn awesome and it's really fun to just, you know, if you are in, if, if you, if you, Escape the trial, and then you look at the killer, and you see, hmm, that guy had no ad. Kind of sucks for him, doesn't it? it? It gives you a really warm, it gives you a really warm feeling deep inside, I would say. That's what she said. So now, yeah, uh, thanks for your attention. I hope you enjoyed this little information, and, you know, just uh, keep, just keep a close eye on my channel, because I'm going to upload some uh, Detective Sunch games soon, so you, you, so you see that you can actually gain a massive amount of value just out of this perk. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next Dead by Daylight video.